My name is John Powers. Thank you. And John Powers is a very strong name. It's a very uh, powerful name. And I like my name, but not as much as Megatron. Dude was frozen in ice for 200 years. They thaw him out. The first thing he thinks to say, Megatron. <laughs> All menacing and shit. If I was frozen for 200 years, the last thing I'd wake up saying is John Powers. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> or damn, it feels good to be alive. <laughs> Statue of Liberty? Never even been there. It's just a tourist trap for people that are visiting here. Dittmar's chilling out in Greekland. Story is expensive, but cheap as in Manhattan. Down at the beer garden, feeling open space, yeah. Drinking with some friends, but I wanna see some nature. Heading down to Jersey, looking like a Guido. Chilling on the shore with Snooky and my Speedo. City of sin, not sure how I'm gonna win. Girls don't even look my way, I got nothing for them. I wish I worked on Wall Street, back like in the 90s. Instead, I'm out for Occupy, sleeping in Zuccotti. Down in the village, the crowd begins to deepen. Whether or not you make it all depends on who you sleep with. Never moving up. Can't help but hate my life. Thought it would get better. I got nothing but grief and strife. Five hour energy, my boss is a jerk. I got two hours of sleep, now I gotta get back to work. There is no more powerful tool than the wing dog for you to be able to meet chicks. And we trained Danny to be able to take good care of this dog. And we trained this dog to be able to take good care of Danny. So uh, I heard on the news the other day that uh, a satellite is rapidly falling towards Earth. That's bad. <laughs> and our solution to this is to shoot a missile up into space and try to shoot it down. What are you gonna send Ben Affleck and Bruce Willis up there with a fucking drill team? I don't think that's a good idea. And what if it misses? What if it hits God? <laughs> yeah, you look it. Is it that obvious? Well, it's written all over your face. You just don't seem yourself. You seem kind of down. Yeah, I'm kind of sad. I really like her. You're a handsome fella. I'm sure you can find another girl. Really? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't touch that. That's right. Put it back. There you go. There's a line, you old bastard. You have to wait your turn. That's it. All the way around. Now, what do you want? I need a deposit slip. Well, they're at the front of the line. <laughs> Go get one. Banks don't give a shit about you. Oh, you gave me a disease. A venereal disease. Hey there, Delilah, don't you hug or touch or kiss me. I'm not going near your dirty ass. I thought cooties weren't real in school. Now I know they spread just like the flu. Anytime I itch, I'll think of you. Hey there, Delilah, you're a shrew. Screw you. Oh, you gave me a disease. Of the aerial disease. Oh, you gave me a disease. Of the STD. Apply this ointment three times daily to the infected area and the rash should go into remission. Should another outbreak occur, simply reapply to the infected area and all surrounding areas of your genitalia. Keep this and all other drugs out of the reach of children. And if you have an erection lasting more than six hours, use it while the rash is in remission. That's, that's fucking gross. <laughs> One day Thankfully. only. Yeah. I did so well that I refused to do it again yeah, the second time. You know, time. a lot of times these actors come in from either New York or L.A. You know, Josh Brolin and these guys, they get arrested. You didn't. Nobody got arrested, did they? 
Uh, not that I know. Nobody's not over. I saw a condom on my floor this morning, and down near the bottom it says, "This product not tested on animals." <laughs> Put some powder on my golden key, then sniff it up my nose to heighten me. I got so high and it was one crazy November. Credit card and chop it into little pieces. I don't even need your straw. I grew up my own fingernail to sniff stuff off. Uh, excuse me, the chain on this pen is too short. Nobody cares, you little punk. And that's a stupid looking vest. Do you uh, have any idea how important this bank is? Not really. Well, we are. We could kill you. Or pay someone to have you killed. We don't need your money. Sit on the counter and shove that pen up your ass. Banks don't give a shit about you. To the handoff. Yes, everybody, welcome back to the handoff. It's uh, good to be back. Good to see you again, John. Likewise, dude. It's been Always a, while. a pleasure. Uh, a lot of people are saying that our show is, well, how do I put this? Um, Cross some, too many lines. Yes, somewhat controversial. We have been told that we're talking about things that we're not supposed to talk about. I'm fine with it. I think that's the whole point of comedy. You talk about politics and religion and Things that people aren't supposed to talk about around the water cooler, but everybody does anyhow. In a world where no one is safe. Superman meets Batman. Suspense. He told me that his intentions were to penetrate my ex-girlfriend in the most notorious of body cavities. Love. He tried to scream me some of very uncomfortable ones. Thrills. Chills. And sex in uncomfortable places. What, like the back of a Volkswagen? Sounds like his demo. It's Batman, like you've never seen him before. And Superman, like you saw him once, very recently. The need for a true superhero has arisen. Ben Affleck's gonna be Batman. The first one just goes, no! <laughs> Gotham is Metropolis, and there's only room for one. Super Batman. I saw an anti-marijuana commercial the other day, Ooh. where this girl was talking to her dog, and the dog talked back. That's a pro-marijuana commercial. Smoke into the air filters, and my fish swim crooked for an hour. 